Chris, uh, we always look forward to uh, to the football coming back again. The World Cup's basically only finished. The European qualifiers are just around the corner, but we're back into the Premiership. And if you look at a lot of the leagues in Europe, it's maybe one or two teams, but you could make a case from about at least five teams in the English Premiership making a real, real go to try and win the title. Well, that's it. Was only, and just this morning, an interview with Vincent Company, obviously the winning captain last year. He says as, as many as seven teams will win the league this year. And although it'd be, it'd be a bit of a push for the likes of Everton Spurs, they, they have a lot of, lot of quality players. Looking at the top of the market, Chelsea started, started the summer second favourites, but with the business they've done, got rid of some younger players in Lukaku, likes of that, but they've brought in Fabregas and Diego Costa. Unbelievable world world class players, and they've they're currently favourites at fifteen to eight. Uh, the original favourites were City after they won the league. They've drifted slightly there. The their business has been quiet. They've signed some good players, Mangala, Fernando, but they're not the superstars, not the big names that you're looking for to push on. After after winning the league, they're currently twelve to five. The buzz team for the summer is Man United. Louis Van Gaal, a new manager. Uh, obviously, they're, they're probably the best supported team in in the world. Uh, they're, they're currently Are you a Man United supporter? I am not, unfortunately. Because I was getting, like, a wee, getting a wee bit annoyed the way you were going there. I seemed to light up there when you started talking about them. Uh, I'm a long suffering Arsenal fan. They're, they're oh, yeah, right, okay, fair fair. We'll move on swiftly. <laughs> Keep on going there. I, I would strongly fancy Arsenal 6 1. I give, give them a great shout there. They've been, again, well back to the summer, start of summer around 10, 11 to 1. But with the big money spend in Sanchez, uh, that's the sort of player you want to see come to the Premier League. Everybody will enjoy watching them. And then outside of that, we always get what I would like to call the mug money on Liverpool, eleven to one. <laughs> Suarez, Suarez is gone, uh, been replaced with some some good players, but it's whether they can fill the gap. And the rest, what as what as he said, company said the Everton's, the Spurs, yeah. they're the best of the rest, aren't they? Really, like it's probably just a bit of a stress for Everton. Everton and Spurs are sixty six to one and one hundred and twenty five to one sixty six Spurs one two five Everton. Uh, they have the Europa League to contend with as well this year. We've seen the, how well it benefited Liverpool last year with no European football midweek. You're concentrating all your resources on, on, on going for the league and they were just pipped at the post. What about the obvious candidates for the drop? Uh, well, the drop, Burnley. Burnley, everybody has them. Uh, seemingly they're, they're dead and buried already. They're, they're big odds on for the drop. Uh, off the other promoted sides, QPR obviously, high red naps, plenty of experience in the Premier League. But Leicester would be the better fancy to, to keep their place in the league. Uh, West Brom, and Aston Villa are the, the two more established sides who people fancy for the drop. One I would mention is Hull. Although Steve Bruce is, is another one with plenty of experience, they've, they've done their business well in the summer. It's, it's playing the Europa League, it's such a big drain. Travelling on a Thursday, coming back playing Premier League football on a Sunday, and plenty of teams have struggled with it in the past, namely, namely uh, Birmingham, the year they went down. And Crystal Palace, after, you know, a miracle season, you must say, near the end. Uh, presumably, people are hoping that they could stay up again. I'd love to see them stay up again. Yeah, well, reigning manager of the year, Tony Pulis, for what he did with them last year. Everybody remembers the, the game towards the end of the season when they came back to draw Liverpool. Uh, I, I, they're currently 3-1. to one. I wouldn't put anybody off backing them at 3-1, to one, but at the same time, you couldn't rule them out. Uh, Pulis has, has never been relegated in a career manager, and that's, well, that's unbelievable nowadays for somebody to come and say that for a manager who's managed at all, at all different levels. I have to say, I really enjoyed your uh, your piece in here, but oh, I don't know how we're going to cope. I'm no Liverpool fan, but the mug money in Liverpool, that really stuck the boot into them, I have to say. Chris, thanks very much no indeed. Problem. appreciate that. Bye. Thank you.